In today's video, we're going to review another Asian food item from Trader Joe's. Ta-da! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Miss May. On my channel, I do a variety of lifestyle videos and food review videos. So in my hands are the Trader Joe's pork shumai pork dumplings and the Trader Joe's chicken shumai, which is the chicken dumplings. I'm so excited to try out both dumplings and let you know what I think. So essentially what a shumai is, it's basically like a dumpling, but it's like open it's not like fully wrapped instead of boiling them you will steam them and usually you can get those traditional shumais or siumais or xiaomai from dim sum restaurants and uh, i love dim sum so comment down below what's your favorite dim sum my actual favorite is the hagao which is the shrimp dumplings but shumai is definitely my second favorite However, in San Antonio, there are not that many dim sum restaurants and they're quite pricey. So I decided to try out different dim sum items from different grocery stores because they're definitely more affordable. So in today's video, we're going to try the Trader Joe's chicken shumai and pork shumai. So traditional shumai is made of pork. You know how us Chinese love our pork dumplings, but they're also the chicken flavor because a lot of people have food restrictions because different reasons. So we also have the chicken shumai available to choose from. So you can either eat the pork one and or the chicken one, depending on your preference or if you have any food restrictions. So. If you look at the nutrition facts, there's quite a bit of difference in between the two shumais. Um, the chicken shumai has way less fat compared to the pork shumai, and of course, you can tell, you know, chicken has less fat than pork, of course. But definitely, I would say that pork has better flavor. So it really depends on your preference. But today, we're going to make both of them to see which one is actually better. Big shout out to those dumplings because they're fully cooked. So even though you have a very busy lifestyle, if you're just not having a steam, you can definitely make them with the microwave. But if you want that full, full, full dim sum experience, I highly recommend that you use a steamer. So today we're actually going to use a steamer for cooking those two dumplings. So those are the two ways of cooking them. The first one is microwave and you could just microwave them for two minutes and they're good to go. Oh, actually the pork one is three minutes and chicken one is two minutes. So do actually read the instructions. They actually have different cooking time. For steam or cooktop, just heat for six to seven minutes for the chicken one or steam for the 12 minutes for the pork one. So essentially chicken one needs less cooking time compared to the pork one. So today we'll be using our steamer right here. I'm so excited to finally put them into test. And before we start, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, all that good jazz. And thank you so much for your support to this channel. So let's get started to cook. All right, so first let's do the pork shumai. Let's open this. It has how many shumai in there? There are nine pork shumais in there. So do you wanna make sure the meat side is facing up? Okay. Looks pretty good. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna turn the heat to medium on this steamer, put it on, and we're going to steam it for 12 minutes. Let me look at the time. Okay, in 12 minutes, this will be ready to go. Like this. A few moments later. This looks so good. So good, pork shumai. Okay, first impression, it looks pretty legit. It looks pretty similar to the shumai that I make at home. Probably not as appealing as the one you, from, you get from the dim sum restaurants, but those are master chefs. But I definitely make them at home and they look pretty similar, so I'm very excited. And it smells pretty similar too. Okay, so let's try this out.
first impression, it looks pretty good. So we're going to try this out. It's pretty nice, actually. It's pretty easy to make as well. And the wrap looks pretty thin too. It's a huge meatball, and let's try this. Let's do it. Yeah, shumai, shumai. Let's try this. Whew. It actually looks pretty legit. Smells pretty legit. I think it's good. What do you think? I can taste the ginger. There's a lot of ginger in it. I like it. I think the flavor is good. The wrapper is not the same as the Chinese restaurant. There's something different. Because it's fr previously frozen, I think. It's a little bit softer. Right. It's not as like rubbery as when you eat at the restaurant. Flavor tastes totally fine. Like I could eat this flavor all the time. I like it. I want to give this one, I do, I can definitely taste a lot of ginger in there. And I will give it a nine. I think it's good, but I think it's a little bit too much ginger. Well, then how you give it a nine? Cause I would have given it a 10 if it's the same as the restaurant. I give it a 7.75. <laughs> What's that 7.75? I don't like the size. I think the size is a little too big. I prefer it to be a little smaller for my one bite. What? <laughs> you want it to be smaller? No way. This is the regular size. This is the regular size for Shu Mai. When I buy it at the Chinese store, I think they're a little smaller. No, they're not. The, the one from restaurants are the same size. How many in the this? package? Nine. Yeah, see, normally it's 12. Okay, so it is a little bit bigger than the other frozen sumai, but it's the same as the restaurant size. I would give it a nine. I think it's good. Five. So that will even it out to 8.3 or something like that. It's weird that you It tastes good though. Why can't you just give good. it an eight? Why do you have to be so critical? Because it doesn't deserve an eight. This guy is 7. super 7. mean. 5. Like, if you give it a, a nine, it's like the best of the best, but I think if it tastes just like the restaurant, like then I will give it a 10. But I do think it has a little bit too much ginger. If you love ginger, definitely this is the one for you. But if you hate ginger, and a lot of times when you go to the restaurant, they actually don't put that much ginger in there. Definitely they put ginger because that's how you balance the meat taste. But I do think this, this one definitely has like an overwhelming ginger taste. But overall, I would give it a nine. You would give it a 7.75, so it will be, 8.3 <laughs> It's on the we can buy it again list, but it's not my priority that I buy it every time It's definitely good. This is the pork one So we're going to try the ch chicken one next to see which one's better the pork or chicken pork. I doubt I think the chicken one may not have this much ginger. So maybe it's better I don't even think I've ever had chicken shumai. We had it in the restaurant. That's in the new fortune. They have pork siumai, chicken siumai, and pork and shrimp siumai and shrimp siumai. They have pork like pork and shrimp is normally the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But pork this is one also, also good. It's a little bit lighter in color. It's not as like dark color. They're supposed to be this color. Oh well. The one that they put the dark color is they put a little bit of the crab thingy on the top, and it looks a little bit more orange. Right, but. But this is pretty good. It's I definitely think the approved. It's okay. Oh, he likes the ginger. And milk. I don't even like ginger, but I think it's fine. That doesn't bother me. So, okay. So, this is the pork. Overall, it's recommended. It's not as good as the restaurant, but it's definitely pretty good for frozen dumpling. And now let's try the chicken one. All right, so now it's time to try all the chicken. Let's see. Let's open this. It's probably the same packaging as the pork. So, oh, the chicken ones are actually smaller. Oh, interesting. It, this is actually really interesting because the pork shumai didn't have a sauce pack, but the chicken shumai actually comes with a pack of sauce. That's very interesting, very interesting. So pork shumai, we didn't see the sauce in a box, but the chicken one, it's way smaller. It has more Siumais in a pack and also it comes with a sauce. This is very very interesting These chicken ones actually takes shorter time to cook as well 
Okay, so now we're going to close the lid. A few moments later. Okay, I think it's ready. Wow! This one smells like chicken stock. It definitely doesn't smell as good as the pork one, but it still smells pretty good. And also, don't forget you got the sauce for this particular flavor. Okay, so this one is a little bit different because it comes with a sauce pack. So we're gonna ditch the sauce, ditch the sauce, dump the sauce in a bowl, and let's try out the siumai. Alrighty, so first impression, these siumais are way smaller than the pork one. The chicken siumais are way smaller than the pork one. This is the normal size. And it also comes with a sauce. What's in the sauce? Soy sauce, vinaigrette. Hmm. Sauce is pretty good. Let's first try out one without the sauce. Mmm. It has lighter taste. Come lighter on. taste consistency is more mushy, like a meatball. It's more mushy. It's way more mushy. Yeah, I think the pork definitely pork consistency better. This mushy. The sauce is good. This is good if you don't have tea. <laughs> sauce tastes pretty standard like all the other sauces that these things come with. Whether it's from BBGo, Costco, what other brands, they all taste like this. Yeah, it's, it's a, the traditional, traditional like tangy food yeah, sauce. Traditional Chinese dumpling sauce. The sauce is definitely very authentic, very good. The chicken sumai itself? No. It's definitely mushy tasting. It tastes like chicken sausage. Yeah, it tastes more like sausage. I'm not yeah. gonna. I can't approve this one. I if, would, you have two, if you have an option, go for pork. I will give it a 6.5. Yeah, it's like a 6.5. 6.5. It's definitely not authentic. I've had chicken dumplings before. It doesn't taste like this. Like you can, I could definitely eat it, but I'd rather eat pork. Yeah, the pork one tastes more similar to the authentic Chinese pork siu mai versus this one tastes, it doesn't taste as similar to the authentic chicken siu mai. But I do like the size better. This like size is better, size? right, this is more of a bite size, I can eat this like crazy. <laughs> eat it like crazy, so we're gonna finish the whole plate now? I could probably eat the whole thing, but, but it's, I'd rather eat pork. So pork wins! So if you don't have any food restrictions, if you don't have any dietary restrictions, I highly recommend you try the pork shiu mai from Trader Joe's. But if you don't eat pork and if you prefer chicken or prefer something smaller with sauce, definitely try the chicken. This one does not taste bad. It's just not very authentic. Well, this one you can have pork. I'd rather eat pork. No, I just thought like, this one is not as authentic because I've tried different chicken dumplings from Costco, like from the BBGo brand, and they're pretty good. And we definitely have chicken dumplings in China. It's just this one, it doesn't taste authentic. It doesn't taste bad, it just doesn't taste authentic. So today's food review outcome, pork shoe my Trader Joe's one. Da, da, da. So highly recommend the pork shoe my chicken one. It's still good, but definitely not authentic to my taste. I agree. Alrighty, that's it for today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you find it helpful in helping you making a joyous next time before your purchase, it will really help me out for the YouTube algorithm. And also before you go, don't forget to subscribe and the notification bell and check out other Costco and Trader Joe's food review videos and haul videos. And also comment, comment down, down below if you like my cat. 
Now comment down below which food do you recommend us to try from Trader Joe's or Costco. We would love to try them out as well. Whoever says ice cream, I'll give you $5. Alrighty, that's it for today. Thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thanks bye for bye. watching!